Hello beautiful people, this is Xanax and this is State of the Kingdom episode 4. So uh, this week is going to be a pretty short episode. It's going to be myself, GM Officer, and Ruichi. What's up guys? How's it going? Hey, stop. <laughs> we were originally supposed to have a fourth person, uh, GS Jellyfish. Our, you guys might know her as Rose, but she was unavailable due to the rescheduling, so... We'll hopefully have her next week. Since um, we kind of wanted to put it off so we could do a post analysis of our patch. Exactly. We at first it was just going to be an episode about like what's coming, but we can already did that, so it didn't really make much sense. So we delayed it for a day so we could actually dive in, and it's yeah. pretty awesome, I have to say. Yeah, so far it's been looking pretty good. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun. I know that. Have you, any of you guys uh, made a new character? I um, haven't. So far, I, I haven't um, done the, the brawler myself yet, uh, but I'm definitely wanting to do that once I have more time to actually play myself. Unfortunately for, for us, we've mainly been just doing our, our normal post-pass checks. Yeah, doing your jobs. <laughs> I was such an amazing game, but not really having the time to play it. Kind of a, it is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, um, but we generally try to, to make some time to play it, at least when you know, we're not doing other things. That's good. That's good. I myself. Yeah, I haven't been able to make them. Uh, there's like several people in the guild and you know in general that um, made a Qatar and they're trying to get it to level 60 by the time of Sky Tower on Saturday. So it's it's pretty exciting. It's kind of like a race well, to the. Requirement. One of the things that we we actually enjoyed uh, doing and and we did this when the game first launched and we we always watch for this whenever there's a uh, new class added is we just sit in these starting zones and watch all the new people logging in on their new characters. Just see, see how many people we can uh, we can count that are doing the new class. How many have you guys, have you personally counted so far? <laughs> Lost count. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were quite a few though. Totally not surprised. I actually, I, I don't know if it's because I was in an empty channel, but in the zones that I saw, I didn't see that many new characters overall. But I guess you can't really compare to when the game first began because that was just like an overwhelming swarm. As for uh, now, yeah. yeah. It was it was still a pretty big catch, but I was kinda expecting more. But I guess it's just because the only other like experience I can compare to that is the opening day, which was a nightmare. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, other good stuff that 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 was added with the patch, though. It's, we've definitely been uh, seeing a lot of good feedback from people on it so far, both uh, players and people in the office as well. Yeah, I have... yeah, there are like, several new stuff on there. Um, like when you go into the dungeons, you can see the bosses that are in there, the level mm -hmm. of the bosses, the drops. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I personally, um, I made a new character. I kind of feel a little bit silly. I thought I was going to make a guitar. And I did. I did make a guitar up to like level 3. But now I was like, you know what? I'm going to go gunslinger guitar. And I was thinking to myself, I could have made my gunslinger a few days ago and got it to level 40 and just chose guitar today. But I didn't. So now I'm level like 18. <laughs> now I'm level 19. And I'm making my way up there. But You, you know what's funny though is um, I, I, I feel that, that that name will never... Will never go away. Even oh, Qatar! <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, even I though it's official. I Qatar sounds so much brawler. better. Well, yeah. Brawler sounds like a Pokemon. I told you guys this. Qatar is so much better. Okay. Well, there's there's actually a reason for that, which uh, I don't think we discussed before. But basically, the, the the reason for the rename was to keep it more in line with the rest of the characters, because um, if if you weren't aware on the original version. All the characters were named after their weapons. There's the harp class, um, the uh, great axe class, and all that stuff. Um, so all of those were renamed. So we have now our bards and ravagers and all that kind of stuff. Um, the Qatar was the only one that would have still been named after its weapon, weapon. Yeah. Um, which uh, since it uses guitars. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's it's a cool name, but we kind of wanted to keep it in line with the uh, the rest of the classes as well. So that was the reason for the for the name change itself. However, um, and we've noticed this before with with other class changes, um, 
names that people are used to never quite go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I myself, I was kind of curious as to um, why you guys decided to go the route of naming the weapon archetypes, giving them like a class name. Um, well, there's a few reasons um, for that, but, but the main one is mostly that it all depends on the culture that we're kidding, kidding to. Um, and we feel that a lot of people um, that play games that, that we generally release are used to having actual classes. You know, it's it's kind of a normal thing to see in a lot of MMOs. You know, you, you have like your your druids and your shamans and your warlocks and, and mages and all that kind of stuff. Um, you, you see that throughout all sorts of different MMOs. Um, and we kind of felt that that's what people were used to. Um, so we kind of wanted to identify them as, as different classes and not just tie them to a particular weapon. I think it would have been a little weird as well being called harp. Um, it's just, <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah, it's just like, yo, harp, come here. It's like, no, no, that's not my name. <laughs> that's just been weird. <laughs> So yeah, I mean it's it's a matter of what people are used to. Yeah. So I mean, you know, sometimes things work for for one place, and they may not always work for different player bases. Yeah, so. especially in the, when it comes to gaming and MMOs, like region by region, it's just completely different. Yeah. So I mean, there, there are a few other reasons for that, but that was the main reason for the change on those. Yeah. What have you done so far since the content patch? Um, well, for us, we've, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of fishing, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. We, it's, it's very thrilling. Um, but it actually, um, it actually is pretty fun. Um, I've played a lot of games that, that have different fishing professions and usually they're just pretty boring. So we, we kind of like how this is more interactive and you can get cool stuff from it. But you know, we've we've also been checking out the uh, the different areas, different zones, and all that. I mean, as I said, I mean, I personally have not had much time to actually get in there and play, as or at least as much as I would like to. But that's planned for the near future for me. Um, and can you briefly just describe uh, the fishing experience for those who haven't gone fishing yet? I believe we also have a. a post on this in our forums um, for people who want to check that out as well. But basically, it, it's a fairly interactive system where you have to travel the world, find different schools of fish, and there's actually different gear sets you use where you can actually equip your fishing gear. And you kind of, well, you can AFK your way through it. You're not really going to get anything very good if you do that. Um, so you actually need to actively monitor while you're fishing, kind of try and keep your your your, your fishing hook in the in the right area. Um, otherwise, you know, your line might break. Um, and basically, if you if you do this enough, you can end up actually getting some pretty neat stuff. So, and, and again, Sweet. we do have a post on that in the forums as well. Yeah, yeah. there's some fish that I caught, and on it, it says that there was a chance of getting custom costumes on it. I was really excited, mm -hmm. but I haven't gotten one yet. And yeah, there's also some that you can sell for uh, decent amounts of gold. So, yeah, there's a few different things you can get. See, instead of the fishing system, um, I was more into the other world dungeons, the new level 60 plus dungeons that came out. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, yeah. People were dying. I was so happy because I was actually worried that it'll be too easy and that it wouldn't be any fun. But I saw people getting one shot killed. These guys mm -hmm. thought they, you know, these big egos thinking, oh, man, my character is great. And then they, they got one shot killed. And I'm like, I told you so. You need to make a character even better. And, um, and I've just been having so much fun. You should have heard me. Yesterday, when I was doing all these dungeons, oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I tanked the boss, I was so happy, and then while I was running away, I got killed by a bell sprout. I felt so pro, and then I got killed by a stupid looking bell sprout. I was so, I don't know, it really, it's, I think everybody's egos and prides are having like a double take right uh, have now. You, so. uh, have you tried Helonia Coast yet? Yeah, I have the like penguins. Of penguins. Yes. The penguins. <laughs> First it was rabbits, and now it's penguins. You guys are having so much fun with this. Uh, you know, one of the <laughs> the, the, the main uh, selling points of Aura Kingdom is uh, 
you can get slaughtered by any variety of cute, fuzzy little animals. <laughs> I like it, though. It makes it unique. It really does. It's funny, funny what you're saying, though, about, about how it definitely has had the increase in difficulty. And that was our intention because um, we wanted it to be, you know, a game that can, that can cater to both casuals and the hardcore players. So there's a lot of stuff in the game that's pretty easy, like uh, leveling up is, is very, very easy to do. Um, and then there's things that you really do need to invest the time and effort to be able to uh, succeed in it. And yeah, dungeons are definitely one of those. Exactly. Um, especially since it was pretty easy thus far. Um, again, there's a lot of people with these huge egos <laughs> you know, thinking they're all that. And then they got killed by a penguin. You know, <laughs> it's just like, it really, uh, it's, it's just really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it really keeps their egos back in check. And I, I actually enjoy that. So what are your first impressions of the new patch then? I was really, really happy that people are dying. You know, that's you know, no, no, like that that's the complete so opposite of what I. Said. Something you don't always hear. <laughs> I know, I know, and I have a bar too, so people are supposed to be surviving. But you know, the first times that we're going into these dungeons, you know, trying it out, people like gunslingers, really squishy wizards, they're going in thinking they can tank, and they get one shot, and it's just um, uh, it just makes the game so much more fun for me now that there is a challenge, especially now that we also have a level 60 gears as well mm -hmm. uh, mm. that we can actually fortify. A ton of us were just waiting for level 60 gears before we fortify them so that, you know, we're not wasting scrolls. And so now we can actually compete with all of those people that had already fortified before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, on our end, we're actually, uh, so far, we're pretty happy with how it's been coming out, um, especially since with patches, no matter how much testing you do, you're never quite certain how it's going to come out in the long run. I mean, there's there's some things that you might always miss with the patch, mm -hmm. um, but so far, it's been seeming pretty well. Players seem to be receiving it pretty well, um, and yeah, we were happy with it. Um, Especially since there was there was a lot of content that we had to we had to run through mm -hmm. to make sure that you know we got everything on there. There was a little while that we weren't sure if we we're going to be able to put everything out for this week, um, but we were able to to resolve the issues that we found on our test test server and we were able to get um, the various bugs that we found uh, pretty much uh, cleared up. And uh, we think that yeah we were able to put together a pretty quality patch. I think that I should bring something up. The Sky Tower, if uh, you weren't aware, um, we were actually able to change some of the times for that content to make it more accessible for players outside of North America. Um, since, as we said in previous podcasts, that is something that we do want to make sure of, that you know players in other areas can uh, access that stuff as well. Um, and we're still working on changing times for, for other things as well, such as uh, Arena. Um, so they should be changed eventually. Uh -huh. Just that stuff takes a little bit more time. Yeah, but that's great though. Thank you. A lot of people will be happy about that. I mean, there are always going to be someone that a time does not work for. Unfortunately, I mean, you can't you can't make it work for everyone, all of our players across the world. But we try to make it so that more people are able to access that at least. Yeah, thank you so much. Wow, I'm glad you guys actually listened to the feedback and actually did something about it. There's not a lot of games that um, really has a a staff community that does that for you. So mm -hmm. oh, that's amazing, yeah. We need that feedback from you guys as well. So it's, it's kind of a two-way thing. We want to do what we can to make things work for our players. And that's not to say that we can do everything that they want, but we want to do what we can. And it definitely uh, means that we need feedback from players as well. So, yeah, please keep giving it. Yeah, my first impressions of the patch, I was very happy with it. The very first character I made in this game was a gunslinger. And this was back in the press events. And I wasn't all that impressed with it. But that also <laughs> came with a lack of understanding of the game. And now that I actually jumped onto the class... Um, I have to say the class is extremely impressive. The only other experience I have with, against the gunslinger was um, 
on my guardian and I got mollywhopped. Like <laughs> this okay, dude this okay. dude <laughs> mollywopped me. Like he just tossed me like I'm a guardian built like built to tank like full on making sure I have the backlash with the thorns and everything, making sure I'm giving you bad damage every time you hit me. I'm pretty ruthless in my build and this guy tossed me like I was just a rag doll. And um ever since then I was like I was really stuck on wanting to make a gunslinger. And then when I found out that the guitar actually comboed with it, I was like, Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go uh gunslinger brawler. And so far I'm very happy. Um I took a look at the new um envoy path tree and it is very, very nice. It is oh, so very they changed cr- it so that I remember before, um, like if you started off as a Qatar main, then you had all of those combo envoy paths. And there was a question, I think, on one of the Twitch TVs with Leo that um, if you started off Gunslinger, then would your envoy path change to have Qatar's, Qatar ones in there? So, um, wait, so was that implemented? I don't know because I did not have a gunslinger before the content patch. What I do know is that right now I see Qatar skills, whereas um, a month ago, no, like two, three months ago, I did not see Qatar skills on the Envoy tree. Yeah, Maybe right. you can provide some clarity with that because I believe what would happen was, yes, there would be the new Envoy tree, Envoy path tree, and then you would probably get a free point reset from that and then you rebuild your character again. Is that what you guys did also um i'll, I'll be completely honest that 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 i'm actually not uh sure myself okay um, unfortunately i i should clarify that we all tend to specialize in different things mm. um and that is not one of mine <laughs> this kind of even goes to show this which is why we try to get yeah. the questions in beforehand because jim also is a part of the team but he's not the entire team so um to um, get those well, questions generally- and generally, and, and this is probably a good time to talk about like, kind of how we do work that stuff out. Um, while we do tend to to specialize in various things, we all try to involve ourselves in in all the different areas as much as possible, and we kind of work together on on training each other on the things that we're not as clear on, um, since no one person can know everything about the game, unfortunately. Um, but we we tend to try and work together on learning what we don't know. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, I'm not the best person to be asking about like yeah. all the um, all the new content. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is what I just suspect because I know that if our kingdom follows in the path of Fantasy Frontier, which it has so far, um, all the classes are actually going to begin a new envoy tree. There are going to be new like choices on your envoy um, trees once they've been renewed. That's not a thing from Jim also because that's not official yet. This is just from what I've seen <laughs> in Fantasy Frontier. I kind of want to make that disclaimer. So, but that's what I saw for yeah. Fantasy Frontier. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy so far. I can't wait to play. Oh my gosh. I saw like <laughs> about 10 guitar ca- characters so far, or at least observed about 10 of them. And they just look so fun, like twirling yeah. through the air and like doing their skills and melting. Like they just melted the monsters like butter. I know like, they're making it so much fun. <sighs> that that is yeah, that is one thing that that I, I was able to to spend some time on is just basically uh, playing it a little bit and setting up the different combos and all that. And that is actually that's actually a lot of fun. And I'm actually planning on making mine when I have more time for it, because I definitely see that as being a class that I'd like to play more in the future. Probably the most impressive thing about it is how much I've seen that they just clear through quests so quickly because, yes, they're they're squishy. So they have to be careful with how they AoE and essentially how they attack because their arsenal is based on AoE, but they're melee AoE. So they have to be careful, but... If you do it right, like you're going to be clearing through a lot of quests very quickly, um, for quests of like being six smart monsters. about it, yeah, really. yeah, yeah. Just um, knowing what orbs to generate, um, knowing mm-hmm. when to use your defense healing skills. Exactly, um, but um, so yeah. far it is impressive. Well, that's one of the nice things about it, though, is is 
we like the, there are classes that will be very useful for different things. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, you, you might have a major AOE fight and it's definitely helpful to have certain classes that can uh, really clean up in that. Yeah. And then there are other mm -hmm. ones that you really need that, that single target damage. Exactly. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to have different classes that can uh, do different stuff like that. I was just going to say the brutality kind of reminds me of the Cannoneer, which I don't think, or rather the Grenadier, which I don't yeah. believe gets enough credit for how amazing that class is. Like, that is, Gunslingers and Grenadiers are kind of the underrated uh, classes from what I've seen from the player base. and. Mm. And it, it depends on who you ask. We found we yeah, found it really does depend. Very, very about that. I mean, personally, yeah. I, I love personally, I love the turrets. Yeah, That's a lot of fun. yeah. Yeah, the turrets are fun. But uh, one thing I really like about the patch is that um, the guardians are actually useful now. Yes, they're actually are. needed. Yes. they're actually needed. Um, you <laughs> need a guardian to be able to do these level sixty plus dungeons, whereas we, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> we we knew it was it was coming. It was uh, we knew that it was going to get to that point. It was, um, <laughs> it, which, which is kind of why we did find it amusing when we would see the posts about people like make the guardian useful. It's no <laughs> one yeah. wants a guardian. It's terrible. Exactly. Like, like they, just, just wait. Just give some time. Okay. And <laughs> ag I mean, their aggro taking skills need a bit of work, to be honest. Um, I feel I don't like think so. they. Uh, no, no, no. I, I feel like they should be able to take more malice than no. Than I what think it is, but... if if they're honestly, if I th if I find a guardian is having an issue with malice, it is definitely because of their envoy path build. Because there right now, um, there are two uh choices in your envoy path that raise your malice by about like sixty percent over it, above it every other depend, character. Uh, yeah, it does I mean, depend, depend on, on both, your, uh, your party. envoy path. And also making sure that that you're actually uh, using the right skills. Exactly, I really think I don't. There's think... some that generate a lot of malice. Mm -hmm. oh, I I, yes, I but... personally haven't experienced any difficulty in yeah in that. So um, it depends on your party as well. If you have a lot of high level damage dealers in your party, it makes it very very difficult sometimes to keep aggro. Um, but I mean, I guess that's something where you have to work with the damage dealers as Situational, well. Situational, yeah. Keep aggro. Yes, but yeah, I mean, like don't go overboard. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, even... that's how I've seen it, though. Yeah, yeah. like if if you have a lot of damage, if you have um really high damage dealing people in your party, it becomes very difficult sometimes. Yeah. So it becomes guess, more um, difficult than if you had like someone that was just moderately high, uh, DPS or moderately high DPS team where you could actually keep that girl. And then the yeah, that's the thing, though. You don't want person. it to be. Yeah, you don't want it to be like, oh, we don't want your. Oh, you you do too much damage. We don't want you in the party. You know, <laughs> you don't want that as time. well. You know. When we the first time. Yeah. Just control. Just I think it's all it's all based on control. But honestly, I do find within this player base that a lot of people are very guardian inept <laughs> for some reason. Not to be offensive or anything. I'm definitely not trying to dig into anyone, but. Well, um, one thing to bear in mind is that e even though it's there's definitely a lot of experienced players out there right now, it still is a fairly new game. Yeah, so that is true. A lot of the people that you're seeing are still going to be learning the class, uh, learning the gameplay itself. The combos, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we kind of feel that, that that will adjust itself over time as well. Yeah, whenever I hear people complain about the Guardian, I'm kind of like, it's not the class itself. <laughs> it's the people playing it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm 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 happy. So I'm just very happy so far with uh, everything. And I was ex I, there's actually a controversy brewing with the uh, Paragon table. What do you guys think about that? I haven't tried it yet, so I really can't comment. But I want to try it. I am so tempted. I want to try all, it really, really badly. See, all I know about it thus far is that finally we can get the stupid scarf. I was celebrating the scarf, guys, the scarf. But um, <laughs> it gave you 200 of the ruby coins. And on the Paragon table, um, like, I'm not sure. I guess there hasn't been much um, info about how else you get those ruby coins, how else you get those emerald shards, whatever it is. I don't know, because it looks like from what I see, 
on it's like you can only get it with AP at the moment. At the moment, so far, yeah. so far, yeah. um, and and the uh, the scarf quest as well, actually. Yeah, yeah it's and AP the, only. If if people weren't aware, the scarf quest will actually um, reward you with um, two hundred of the ruby coins. Um, yes, and it costs twenty nine so, AP. Yeah, and normally the ruby coins cost uh, ninety nine AP. Exactly. So, yeah, so there's yeah. that. Um, but well, that's something that that may may change in the future. I mean, we'll we'll see how things go. But yeah, just bear in mind that it, it is brand new brand new content. So yeah, that's never true. Know what your future. And I've seen that there is a plan to uh, allow ruby coins to be purchased with loyalty points in the future. Yes. Yeah. I mean, as we said in previous uh, podcasts, our eventual plan is everything that's been in the item mall will also be in the normal shop. Yeah. So it should be in there as well. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a completely AP deal and I was just like, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I was excited about the scarf. I finally get it and I can't do anything, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all good. We can wait for the loyalty version of it. Yeah. So realistically, what would you like to see in the next big patch room? Um, I want to be able to upgrade the guild higher than level five. <laughs> uh, I want guild wars. <laughs> I want pre-made parties when I go to PvP. <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm writing this down. One sec. <laughs> oh, no. oh, really? Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, should I repeat it? No, no, no. no. Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, Janex, what, what were you looking forward to as well? I'm looking forward to pre-made parties for PvP. That's definitely a big one. I'm hoping you guys can yeah. figure out a way to um, better, I guess, form the groups. For example, like not having level 40s with mm-hmm. level 60 mm-hmm. pluses. I feel like the level 40 to like the level ranges thing is a pretty big uh, deal. Mm-hmm. And I know I'm a dreamer, but... I do want that Warble <laughs> class because when I saw that locked image, I was like, you guys are so completely evil because I have a little bit of gaming ADD. Like I get new content and I'm already thinking about the next like content. And honestly, I wasn't really, I'm not looking forward to, I wasn't that, looking I don't forward think to that's the, the, I don't think that's that weird of a thing though. That's, that's kind of a common thing. I mean, you know, I, on the one hand, you, you love the con- content you get. Yeah. But yeah. You also, you know, you want to afford the future content as well. Definitely. Um, so, well, I have some some uh, good news and some bad news and some just regular news for you guys. Awesome. The, I guess, bad news is most of that content will not be in the next patch, um, unfortunately. Um, and and some of it, um, like we, we've discussed this in previous podcasts, but but some of it, like uh, premiums for PvP, while it's stuff that we like the idea of, it's really dependent upon our developers. So that's not something that we have any feedback on if we'd be able to get it at all. But Developers, would yeah. you like some love? <laughs> if you do, we would love you if you gave us teammate parties. I hear parties. they like cookies. On for the, on for the good news, uh, Xanax, you were mentioning that you are looking forward to the Warbo. Uh-huh. That is one of the things that we have planned for the next patch. Yes! Um, Oh, yes. No, no, wait, are you yes. The next month, the next. Wait, wait, wait. As in, like the next small uh, no, patch, I, and then next big, big, big patch. patch. I, oh. I, I do have to say that, that bear in mind, content is always subject to change, and nothing I'm saying is is a guaranteed thing. But what we have oh planned, God. um, what we have planned right now would be the Warbo, um, uh, some additional dungeons, um, further story progression, um, an additional PvP feature. Um, and, and there might be some other stuff as well, which I mean, we'll be talking more about that once, once we have a better idea of it. Awesome. Um, because a, a lot of it, we still have to, to work and see what we're able to get. But for now, and again, bear in mind, this is a subject to change. For now, that's what we have planned. My guess is that that's probably going to drop in the first or second week of April. That's my guess. No comment. No, no comment <laughs> on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going on record by saying that because honestly, I've been, I think you know this also, I've been right with every one of my predictions about open beta, 
update schedule. I've been on a roll, so I want to keep it going. So <laughs> it's on record. <laughs> All right. But yeah. So everyone, uh, mark, mark this moment. Mark this moment. Make sure that if it's not correct, you make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we have some weekly questions. Um, okay. So here's one from AnimeFan9001. Why does it seem like the chances of getting something good out of a fortune bag are lower in the North American version than in the other versions of the game? We wanted to answer that one because uh, that's something that we occasionally hear. Unfortunately, that, that question is, is kind of answered in the question itself. Why does it seem this way? Well, that really is dependent on who you ask. Um, since a lot of the, the items like this, the actual rates for them are not disclosed. It really depends on whether or not RNG has been good to you or not. Um, however, we do want to make sure that, that people remember there's often a kind of grass is greener philosophy, um, where people feel that it's so much better in this version or this, this one has a better drop rate or anything like that. Um, and that's not always the case. I, a lot of the time we see people saying that, you know, rates for something is better and it's not always the case. So just bear in mind that, that, that it's something that depends on who you ask and how good RNG has been to you. Uh, next one is what contents are the GMs looking forward to testing or enjoying testing? <laughs> um, that really <laughs> depends on, on who you ask in the office. Um, but one thing I, I could say is we're definitely all looking forward to the Warbo, which, and we're not sure if that's going to be the official name or not, but that's, that's what it's known as for now. Um, so that's definitely one thing we're looking forward to. Um, definitely PVP, uh, PVP content, uh, which that's always fun to test around here because, uh, it usually results in a lot of, uh, yelling back and forth when, when we're trying to kill each other. So that's always a lot of fun to test. Um, and the other thing that, I mean, I personally am looking forward to a lot, uh, would be new Eidolons because yes. to me, that's one of the, one of the key features of the game. And I, I love the Eidolons. Um, and we've definitely seen some, uh, very cool ones coming, which I, I think some of them have also been uh, previewed on the forums by different players. Uh, so there's definitely some very, very cool ones coming out. Copacetic asks, will we be getting new PvP gear soon, including weapons? It's future content. It's currently in development. So Aww. while that's coming, it's it's not going to be a very soon thing. Um, we we don't really have any, any info on when it is coming, but it is coming. Uh, now I'm going to have players crying at me. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I mean, there will be more PvP content added as time goes by. And again, we, we are looking forward to add a new PvP feature with the upcoming patch. Um, so you should expect that there will be other parts added as well, including gear. Um, and again, that's not something that's coming soon, but it will be in the future. All right, well, it's time to wrap up this episode. Do you guys have any final comments? I just want to say that it's been great seeing all you guys out there playing. Looks like you're liking the new content so far, and we hope to be able to bring in a bunch more that you guys uh, continue to like as much. I just want to say that you guys did really amazing with this patch. Um, I mean, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And developers, we will love you so much if you listen to this podcast and just give us what we want. <laughs> and, and kudos to the developers as well, which, I mean, they, yes. they did a great job of, of working with us on the various issues that we found on test, and we wouldn't have been able to, to put out nearly as much if it were not for their support as well. So, yeah, definitely well done to, to them as well. Uh, my final comment is that I want the war ball. Really, really badly. <laughs> like, Next big patch soon, soon, yeah, soon. It's a good thing that I have two extra Thanks character slots. <laughs> <laughs> and since this is State of the Kingdom, all I have to say is B A N A N A. Not going to be saying it. Oh no! Just, <laughs> just had to bring it up. No. <laughs> and a suit of that variety. Oh my gosh! Really. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. 
I genuinely want that thing. Oh my god. I'd be goodness. so happy if that ever got implemented. That'd be so cool. I'd rather the developers <laughs> work on everything else first. <laughs> really. Don't be hating. Okay. okay. Priorities. Come on. Exactly. We all know that a banana suit supersedes pre made parties. Trollolo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to smack you. So with like 90% of our community, they'll smack you. <laughs> I can hear them sharpening their pitchforks and laying the torches right now, actually. Oh, oh yeah. No, I'm leaving, Bev. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't hurt me, guys. <laughs> it's been wonderful having you guys on. It was definitely a, a change of pace. Um, And there are other changes said to be coming to the podcast very soon for the better. We, we're always working on it. I say it every week. We're always working on it, making it better, making it more efficient for you guys. And yeah, we, just, I just we, love We can doing rebuild this. it. We have the technology. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, the, the podcast has just been such an easygoing experience and it's really a highlight of my week. And I hope it's been a highlight for our viewers. I really hope you guys are going to continue watching and continue growing. Qatar. Just make sure you, uh, Give us more questions. Uh, we, yes, we love please. having a lot of questions to pick from. So more and more please, questions. Uh, the more the better. Yes, yes. Because um, I've even stated, stated in the past that you guys tend to flood the live stream on Saturdays with a lot of questions. And they're not necessarily able to be answered right on the spot. Mm-hmm. With the podcast, mm-hmm. yeah. they're way more likely to be answered each episode. So please ask Absolutely. your questions. So yes, guys, have a wonderful day and stay beautiful. Please check out the featured artists for this series.